I'm gonna push the envelope here. I'm gonna send this army. If I lose it, I don't really care. These are from the beginning. They had no uh, no chevrons or anything. It's just if they disappear, it's less uh, upkeep that we have to pay. So let's, let's see what Napoleon thinks about our actions when we pass turn. We see. Okay, so they have 3,000 men. Arm citizenry, the morale is that what they have the, the most, you know, some militia and three line infantry. We A glorious victory! Parash! Se acerca la milicia, señor! Vamos, señores! Gentlemen! Fire! Shoot! You are gonna move here. Quickly. I'm gonna start shooting also. From here. Quickly. We are not very good shooting, but uh... Okay, let me see the cannon. Where are you? How are you doing here? I should be kicking these guys' asses. They are running. I would like to do this with grenadiers, but uh, we do it with militia anyway. But they are turning. To our militia, right? Okay, you shoot my militia and with my line infantry, we shoot you here. Okay, this cannon, shoot here. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. No worries. Shoot these guys. You stop. Shoot there. What are you doing? They are in a square. Sure, I never seen a post a square like this. Well, you only shoot with a, a few. Are you shooting? I'm on fire. Ah, you're not in range. Come 
come on. Now you can shoot. How are we doing? Stop. Shoot these guys. We killed that general. You. You're just gonna go. Beat them from behind. You guys, get in position. Yeah, they are shifting. Come on. Just want not to fight from this side because we're gonna get shot from our own men. I'm gonna come from another angle. Get a few shots, that's fine. Turn around. Where, where are you running? Where are you running? No, 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 no. No running. Did these guys come back? Push them up. I don't think they're coming back. Come back. Coward, come back. These guys might come back. Let's go get the Yeah! Continue! Yeah. Running, Commandant. By the artillery. 348. Wow, this line infantry, 345. Pretty good. Viva la so, this one we cannot liberate. Anything. So, we are going to peacefully occupy. Okay. Hello, my friends. Tario here from Gaming in a Daydream. I hope you're all keeping well. And thank you very much for watching. Welcome to my Napoleon Total War Darth Mod Kingdom of Spain campaign where we are hopefully uh, in the final stages of the of the campaign because I, I believe when we take uh, Naples which is our last uh, victory point required we will get the victory screen and then you can continue if you want but uh, the campaign would be uh, beaten um, now for that we're gonna have to take a few turns and most probably I will do something off camera unless we get attacked somewhere because uh, to take this well, I don't have any armies uh, close by to to take a a, a chance to, to battle in there I have the army that uh, actually took uh, Corsica uh, the birthplace of Napoleon I sent it, sent it back to Spain and we have it here uh, replenishing which is gonna take a, a few a few I don't know if I can recruit Cazadores here, no they are level 1 I have their level 2, pretty good but only 69 men, it's gonna take a while now this Swiss infantry uh, most probably will have to go to Barcelona and, and get it replen finished replenished the, in there because we have the, the secret society and what else I'm gonna actually take a second army that I'm recruiting right now it's almost uh, complete only the cavalry is missing 
and next turn we will have them ready so once the next we pass turn i will uh, move them maybe we maybe we can move them initially because there's an army unit of naples in here and maybe we can send them first see if they can get tangled with these guys and then send uh, our general francisco javier castaños if i remember correctly is him yes francisco javier castaños we can disembark him close to naples and take all them now their army is uh, pretty damaged uh, and they don't have a, a very high uh, chevrons or anything experience unlike the the batavian republic had up north but anyway that's gonna be for later on now the south of uh, of france here we have it more or less secure uh, i have to s what do i have here ah oh, just the protecting okay we have a spy here or is italian is our allies oh i have a, a gentleman Señor. here gentleman scholar military writer well, 61 years old. Well, the time here goes very slowly, so. Como le yeah, board that ship and. El marcha! Go to Spain. So you can uh, give us. What is gonna be faster? I think it's gonna be faster if you go to Barcelona. We can cover that port. I like to cover the ports. Sí, capitán. Here we have no port, and I'm not gonna build one because uh, in Corsica we are not gonna get any income ever. So it's not even worth it to to build a port. Can you agents? Can you move? Oh, you can move directly. That's nice. Well, you are going to Salamanca to the university. In two turns, you're gonna arrive there. Now. How are we doing our research? We are researching dialectics so we can build the Supreme Court. Ten tons though. And Oxford is uh, with plate waste that is going to give us plus 10% wealth generated by mines. We have a ton of mines all over our kingdom. So that's going to be very useful. And we are waiting for the military academy to get built in Madrid. But still needs, needs uh, six tons. This is gonna give us access to this unit, Guardias de Infanteria. <laughs> Maybe just one unit, who knows? Uh, I don't know how many you will be able to, to get. Because the, the special units like this, for example, uh, Ibernia, oh, the, it will give us one Chevron for those. I didn't recruit them because they are actually not better in st stat wise. The line infantry is pretty good. 34 accuracy, 22 reload skill. If you get one of these, see, this one is with a chevron. 32, 22, 16. So it's very, it's very. Now we, now we don't have chevron, so it's even less. It's 110 and 32. So it's these guys are, are, are better. They're even better than the grenadiers. Hopefully later. Uh, when we get that upgraded, hopefully before the campaign is over, <laughs> we can recruit them. Uh, these guys are from my uh, home, well, not hometown, but uh, from uh, my area. The Ivernia Infantry Regiment is renowned for their marksmanship and fearsome charge rather than strength. And the Ivernia, these are from uh, the, the north of, uh, of Spain, from Cantabria. But you can see, with one Chevron, oh, they have a range a little. A little more. No, the same. What the heck? Uh, accuracy 32. So th they are not. They are not better. He says they are very good marksmanship. Uh, is uh, is garbage. Uh, it doesn't make uh, sense. And I think you can only recruit uh, one. So you know, we can we can check it in here actually. Yeah, one. <laughs> you can have one. Saragossa Legion, one. Extremadura Fusilier, one. Ah, four. This you can have four. The Getares Muscatiers, you can have four. And Gerona Fusilier Battalion, just one. Yeah, 
So probably, most probably, this is a good one though. The uh, Guardia de Infanteria. Elite Foot Guards. Accuracy 37. Reloading skill 38. They are, they are uh, pretty good. We will probably uh, recruit one. <laughs> we will see. But anyway, uh, for that, I have to wait six turns until this is uh, built. And then after that, we will have to study this one, the general staff, another 12 turns. To be able to build that, that is going to take like another 10 or 12 turns. I don't know. Uh, we're not going to see it in, in the campaign, I believe. <laughs> But anyway, uh, what else have I been doing? Well, we have mm, most of our uh, confrontment right now uh, is here in, in Brussels, as I uh, we expected from the beginning. And I'm a little concerned here. I see a French uh, uh, almost full stack that is coming this way. I don't know if they are going to come to attack us. Join maybe with this one that is a uh, with it thrust them in the past we have the Dutch here replenishing now they, they join the, the groups together and they're replenishing and they are recruiting not as much as they did in the past but they are still recruiting a few units to make a full stack in there I don't know I don't know if I should ask for for peace this we destroy it the previous episode so the Russian Navy is coming I don't know where they are going but uh, we are in not very good terms with them. I mean, we are not at war. We are at at war with uh, the French and... Where are they at war with the... Ah, uh, they are not at war with the Dutch. Only the French and the Ottoman. That navy might might be going the whole way around to, to place a, a navy over here, but... Mm, they are gonna get... If they do that... They are probably gonna get destroyed because the the navy that the, the Ottomans have is, uh, I believe, is more powerful. Look at this one; they have a more powerful units in there. I'm keeping an eye on everything. I still have my my vessels checking the ports, see what is going on. Uh, the Ottomans are still very friendly. Now they have Greece. They lost uh, Istanbul. And they have these two regions in there. That, uh, Transylvania is almost almost surrounded, yeah? but uh, they can still uh, support themselves. In there. The Russians are just replenishing. They are catching their breath, and then they're gonna keep pushing. I don't think the, the Ottomans have much uh, time left. And here we have the French that they move some units just to to say we are here. We never got a, a challenge in Venice. I thought we might, but uh, actually no. We had a, a small fort in Brussels. Actually, now we do have a, a small fort, so I'm a little more at ease to hold the the line because with the, the fort and mostly infantry in here. Now we have this is a full stack. This is almost at full strength. We have these guys here at full strength as well to support. I can send a mid shield with the militia. We have some infantry, not much. We have the cavalry here to go attack. And uh, our general here, Jose de Iturrigaray, is uh, replenishing these units that uh, they would be a, a third stack. Now I'm going to send what we have in here. I'm recruiting also. Some units. I'm recruiting this is Corso, Spanish Corso Terrestre because they are pretty good, pretty good accuracy. I would like to get them inside the fort, so they can, they can shoot. Uh, I don't know if from the walls or from inside the, you know, put them in a building inside the the, the fort, and if someone gets close, uh, pepper them. <laughs> but for now, uh, I was looking. I don't know if I should get more. Que ordena su majestad. Que ordena su majestad. More infantry. Preparados. Or more cavalry. I think I'm gonna get more cavalry though. These guys are very well all around. And what I have is 
one more cavalry and these guys I'm gonna be sending algo más? them over ¿Qué ordena? Mi señor. on board en marcha. ok and send them here Vámonos. disembark por la izquierda en marcha and there they are I'm gonna leave them there because there are not, not many just uh, four units and Preparados. these are all full Preparados. right now we don't have any any other place to to set them Todo listo y en orden, Capitán. and I'm gonna send this uh, sloop right back A la espera de so for this episode uh, I think we're gonna have a naval battle that is uh, you know already so you see economy wise we are expecting 26,000 for the once we passed on however I'm sure the uh, Norway or Denmark Norway they're gonna destroy this port again and we're gonna lose like 12,000 like always because they don't flipping cover their ports are they recruiting they're not recruiting even a, a, a naval if i could give them a ship just to put in there but anyway so we destroyed the that port i think the french ports are all destroyed I have all around bretagne they started trading with france right away and they don't like us very much, but uh, it's our protectorate for now. Now, Napoleon is not recruiting in in Paris, which is quite surprising, since we are next door. They can wipe us out any moment, when then whenever they choose. I mean, this army is not going to do anything against them. But uh, hey, we took uh, Normandy, and I'm going to be taxing here, getting some money until until they want uh, to come and take us out and what I'm gonna do is send I'm not gonna build anything and spend any money here though I'm gonna send uh, this militia unit I'm gonna send it to port I'm gonna and I think that's gonna kick a, a naval battle so they have two, four, six ships we have ordena, five but uh, pretty big and they're gonna bring sí, majestad. these others as a Follow me as a reinforcement. So if we can, if I can leave them without one single vessel, that would be awesome. Well, right now they cannot use them, and uh, the only thing that is gonna do is free some uh, in, some cost, right? The the army cost, the navy upkeep is gonna be lower, so they can use that money so, in something else. Uh, maybe I'm doing them a favor, but uh, in any case. Is a, a moral victory that uh, is also valuable, right? And right in the in front of the nose. <laughs> so let me send this militia unit. Prepárense para la guerra. Prepárense para la guerra. Get ready for war. Esta tierra there, es yeah, nuestra. Yeah. There we are. So frigate, frigate, a 32 gun, a caronade, frigate, 32, and a sloop. We are gonna kick the ass. I have a hundred and six can sip off the line there. Arrogante! Arrogance! So, let's get it done! A sip of water. My condes, I'm thirsty. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, I don't know where my. my uh, reinforcements are gonna come from let's get a line yeah it's gonna place the the biggest ship in front what's the speed only nine but this is a very big ship i mean it's not the biggest we have a uh you know the the flagship the santissima trinidad 122 cannons, I think is, uh, you know, but uh, this is still, uh, this is a first-rate ship of the line, I believe. 
Historically, 106 gun ships of the line were never common and hardly ever sent to overseas stations. They were pure battleships, existing only to fight in set-piece actions and not for mundane duties such as protecting merchantmen, policing the seas and hunting down privateers. They were commissioned and richly decorated as a physical representation of the glory of the state. But this practice went into a decline as a warfare became more intense, forcing ships to become more functional. Yeah. So that's why uh, in my navy, uh, I have the 64 ship, uh, 60, uh, 64 ship, 64 gun ship of the line is my main battleship. It's cheaper, uh, it still has a decent uh, hull strength. 64 guns are more than you're gonna see in any land army and uh, it's much easier to to uh, to maintain these big uh, things yeah they are, they are just so costly to just to keep afloat do you know but anyway okay we are against the wind which is terrible so how long how big is our deployment zone it's quite big i'm gonna go the opposite side actually Move it, move it. Come on, come on, come on. To the edge of it. And let ourselves like so. Maybe if I can, if the mouse allows me. Like this. Okay. Now we are going. Oh, this is going down. We are going down the map. Yes. Well, that's excellent. Let's start. Okay, so we are. They are actually in front of us. So number one, let's go forward. Like so, so we can get some some wind. And where are the reinforcements? Where is this? Oh, well, you are pretty far away. It's gonna take you a while. This is a 50 can ship of the line, which is pretty decent. This one we ah, it's not it's not replenished. I didn't repair these ships. Uh, I got it from what's the name? Schweizerhinkes. This is the, this is uh, from the Batavian Republic, actually. Flota a la orden. Yeah, this is from the Batavian Republic. I I didn't fix it. So strange. They are lacking three cannons and ten men. They should be repaired. Okay, they are detaching uh, probably the fastest uh, ships that are coming to intercept. Where is this one? Salvador del Mundo. This one is ours. Yeah, it's not... Uh, well, maybe it's the AI because mm, this game does these stupid things that uh, start... Uh, killing men and destroying things by itself when they are not in battle. Let's just speed this up a little. Let's see if this group, the three of them, join the, the... Come on. I can group them and send them to guard us. To where the battle. Okay, I have them all, right? So, we can do like this. No, it's not ready. Now you shoot. Yes. Okay, group two. You are gonna go... There. You are against the wind. So you're not gonna arrive, actually. Do whatever you want. I think we are more than enough. Cut, cut across, cut across. So we're gonna start shooting. Oh, 
number two. I'm gonna send them that way. They're fighting already on us. We have cannons! In the front as well. Yeah, they are much faster. They are sending sending to to intercept. Well actually they are all small vessels, I don't know what I'm talking. 32 Caronet Frag is 32, they are all small ones. This is a 38. Maybe I detach this one. You're gonna move faster. Now, my 120, 106, 102 guns now. It's gonna be able to take a, a pounding. So I'm just gonna cut across right now in the middle so we can shoot both sides, both broad sides. Because they are much faster, they are gonna outmaneuver us for sure. So they already passed us there. We're gonna probably cut the uh, two groups: these three on the left, these three on the right, and see if we can we can pepper them. And you, you're gonna go there. See what you can do. Are we firing? on that one and we are not destroying anything now we are doing some damage come on and now we can throw another broadside from this side oh, this is a carronade they are quite powerful in close quarters actually Fire! We are fighting. Oh shit, we are... Taking uh, fire from those guys. Shit. So it's ALT, right click to select your preferable maximum your preferred target okay, so we are cutting across and now we can shoot uh, yeah from both sides Probably gonna turn like this. I don't want to go against the wind. Where are my other vessels? In the end of the world. Okay, you, if you can, when you can, you're gonna shoot the leading ship. How are you doing? moving up with them follow their arch ninety one cannons how is our broadside should be still still defined gonna cut again how are we doing behind okay they are cutting across we're gonna be cutting one against the other
How are you doing? Keep following them. Keep following them. Keep peppering this guy. Yeah, maximum. 87. We are taking damage. We are taking damage, but look at that. Look at that. Well, I, I can't believe that a ship like this doesn't flipping blow them to pieces. Look at the damage that we are taking and they are nothing. I mean, this is BS. Pardon my talking, but they're really... Switch to this one. Quickly. Sisa 38 as well. Fire! They are also uh, concentrating on the on the flagship. Where are my other ships? Coming along. Turn around. They are going against the wind. We can go against the wind. Should they start feeling the the heat? 25 canons, 29. I already lost 23 canons there, huh? 21. These guys are pretty damaged. Well, that's a sloop. And the Caronet Frigate. It's getting pepper actually. That one is damaged. This one should be destroyed already. That one is in pretty bad shape. gonna cut me these guys are getting close yeah they are coming they come against the wind so you know Come like this, see if you can get some wind. Wow. Come on, hold on. Now, blow them to pieces. Yes, come on. Fire! Fuego, mis valientes!
Keep going. Okay, they have one routing. This one is coming. Some repairs. Fire. I don't want to move from the. I'm going to get you doing some repairs, actually. Let the others do the fighting now. Look at that one. That one is almost almost gone. Both sides hurt. Look at that. Look at her. Yeah, we're getting shot, but we are repairing. Come on, repair! Quickly! 75 cannons. I think it's good enough. Keep moving. We have the reinforcements coming. Going. Keep going. Keep going. They're catching me from behind here. This one is pretty bad shape. Yeah, I'm just gonna get the the group one. Go. Get out of here. And the group two hopefully arrives in time. Get them get them into the into the fray. To mop them up. Come around. No, this way. Hey. Oh, this one sunk. Bye bye. Shoot! Ah, uh, we're not in range anymore. I want to cut us in here. We still have some cannons up front. We have to go and repair, but it's gonna be totally worth it. The second group is coming against the wind, so it's gonna take them forever. Maybe do like this. And when they are closer, I, I send them against the wind. Almost at the edge. Yeah. Have to be careful with that because the the vessels get stuck and then they can't turn. You're almost done. Impa impaciente. Impatience. You're impatient to fight, you're gonna get sunk.
Fire. Come on, arrogante. Shoot. Yeah, we're almost in range, almost in range. Oh, no, yet. Now, now, now. How about that? There you go. Routine. Fire! Oh, there's our second group. Turn this way. I mop them up. This frigate is uh, doing pretty well, actually. What's its name? Fama Volante. This is in pretty good condition, actually. Entreprenant. This one not so much. Franklin. Shot from both sides. Follow them. That one shaken. Not in combat. Not in combat. Why are you fighting them? should be getting destroyed but yeah look at that that broadside is almost completely destroyed oh he's a stuck he's a stuck at the at the edge you see that's what i was saying we're gonna sink that one now you can swing around and we pepper them from both sides Oh, where are you going now? You don't like it? Ville de Paris? I'm looking for a thumbnail. Nice. F6, F7 for that. F5 gives you the, the map. This one is routine. And this one is coming back. Or is it still st stuck in there? It's stuck, it's stuck. Wait, wait, it didn't. It didn't sink. This one is gone sinking and this one we won't have much left this is gonna cost a pretty penny to actually I'm gonna keep you like this going down I don't wanna get stuck we're very close to the edge. A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Well, it took a long time. Go. Follow that one. Swing around. Okay, I got this and disentangled from there. It's coming back. 
coming back to its death. Look at all those bodies. All the dead salesmen there. In real life, the French actually were not that brave. At the first chance, they ran away, like they did in Trafalgar, and left uh, the Spanish there to to their fate. I think th they didn't even lose one one ship, Me or, or one, no more than one. They just flew, they left. The Spanish stayed there until the end. Follow them, come on. Me too. Quickly. We don't have all day. This one should be going down now. We're gonna get them almost across. Yeah, look at that. But we don't destroy much. Ah, there you are, sinking. This one is stuck, it seems. Yeah, they are stuck. This one is... Bye bye! Gloop, 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 gloop. So, what I'm gonna do is the first. I'm gonna get you fixing, so let's money to spend. Ah, you finished. <laughs> if you can repair during the battle, there's less money you have to spend uh, after the map. But, uh, we already won, and since they have no place to escape, so they are all going to be destroyed. Domina yeah. el mar. Our nation dominates the seas. That's what it says. Nuestra patria domina el mar. So, six destroyed. All of them. Bye bye. And now we have to sí, majestad. do some repairs. Ordenes recibidas y entendidas. Todo listo y en orden, Capitán. I will do in Portsmouth. En marcha, Capitán. Not here, because... Uh, the French can come and kick us out very easily. I'm gonna leave the, the, that uh, army unit in there. So I like to cover the ports. Let's see how much does it cost. This one is gonna be expensive. Just this one is 392. 1217 gold. Holy cow. But it's well worth it. But anyway, I think I'm going to leave it here for this episode. Um, we had some fun kicking the, the French uh, butt. And uh, for the next one, what I might do is, uh, if I have the time, because I only play this once a week. Uh, I have a ton of series uh, running in the channel right now. 
I, I, hopefully I have some time I will jump in and see if I can pass a few turns uh, of camera if I get attacked by the French maybe here you know I don't know if this one at least one turn it would take like two turns to, to reach me so I, I can pass uh, some uh, a couple turns uh, these guys maybe they join and they come together uh, let's see uh, if I don't get attack, I just pass uh, the turns to get this army uh, replenished and I will join this army uh, I pass one turn, it's gonna be full stack already I'm gonna join them, I'm gonna send these two army units to Naples and then we join the uh, the next video. Uh, maybe I send what I what I mentioned. One army unit first. This one when is when it's complete. Maybe I send it first here to the south. We can disembark in uh, in Sicily. There is ours, and they just cross and uh, and fight against the, these guys. They are hiding in there, so I probably send my spy first to detect them. Or yeah, because I, I don't think if even if I move a, a a ship over there, I'm not gonna see them. I mean, I know they are there, but we would be surprised. You know, if we get close, they will uh, uh, attack us by surprise. But anyway, maybe take those first and then and then do this afterwards. So that's the the idea. I think we are getting close to the end. Uh, as I mentioned, it's just Naples, and when we take Naples, you see, the conditions of victory, we have to get 20 regions, we have 21 already, and listed regions, there's only one left, that is uh, Naples, by late December 1813, we are in 1807, <laughs> early February, so we have, uh, you know, I hope the game doesn't make us go all the way to 1813 uh, when we met the, the conditions they give us the, the victory uh, let's see anyway I hope you enjoy it if you did please give me a thumbs up if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing that it really helps and is very much appreciated we have a, a ton of different type of genres uh, please give it a look and yeah we we'll leave it for now thank you very much for watching please take care be safe and I hope to see you soon with the next one Bye bye for now.